Hi, in this video we're going to find the area enclosed by this region. We have y equals sine x, y equals x, x equals pi over 2, and x equals pi. So to do this we'll start by drawing a rough sketch. So here's the y-axis, here's the x-axis. Right, and sine of 0 is 0. Then we also have pi over 2 and pi. So pi over 2 is, say, here, and pi is, say, here. So sine of pi over 2 is 1, and sine of pi is 0. So it's going to do something like this. It's a maximum of 1, and then it comes back down. Obviously, the sine function keeps going, right? It keeps going like this. It goes on forever. It's periodic with period 2 pi. So it does keep going forever. I'm just drawing this region here and indicating these numbers. And then y equals x is a line. And it looks like this. Okay, and um, at pi over 2, so at 1, it's 1. So at pi over 2, it's not, my graph is a little bit off. Because at pi over 2, it's equal to pi over 2, which is a little bit bigger, so it's going to look something like that. There we go. And it's going to keep going. Okay, so now we have to find the area. So what, what, is, what, are, what are the graphs here? Pi over 2 is this one. That's x. It's a vertical line. And that's this one here. So we basically have to find this area here enclosed by these graphs, right? We have sine x, we have x equals pi over 2, and x equals pi, and then we have y equals x. So what we're going to do is draw a rectangle, which I've made it really hard to see, so I'm going to use pen actually. I have a pen here for my rectangle. Okay, so there's our rectangle. which, and then the height of the rectangle, it's going to be the top function minus the bottom function. So the height of the rectangle is going to be x minus the bottom function is sine x. And basically, now we just have to integrate that from pi over 2 to pi, and we have the area. So the area is going to be x minus sine x. That's the height of our rectangle at x. It varies, right? So you have infinitely many rectangles, and you add up an infinite sum, which is basically definite integration, and you get the area uh, of this region here. So integrating this, pretty simple, integrate x, we use the power rule, so we add 1 and divide, so this is x squared over 2. Integrating um, negative sign, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so this is plus cosine. And we're going from pi over 2 to pi. You first plug in pi, so this is pi squared over 2 plus the cosine of pi. Subtract, and then you plug in pi over 2, so it'll be pi over 2 squared over 2, and then parentheses plus cosine pi over 2. You do have to have a parentheses here because um, you're subtracting. The, the subtraction comes from the formula, so basically you plug in pi, okay, put a minus sign, and then you plug in pi over 2. This here is going to be pi, pi, pi squared over 4 over 2. But that's really, when you divide by 2, you really multiply by 1 half. So it's actually pi squared over 8. Okay, so this is going to be pi squared over 8. So this is pi squared over 2. Cosine of pi is negative 1 minus pi squared over 8. Cosine of pi over 2 is 0. So we end up with pi squared over 2 minus pi squared over 8, minus 1. You could leave it like that, or you could combine these if you really wanted to. Um, if you wanted to combine these, you basically multiply this by 4 over 4. So that'd be 4 pi squared over 8, minus pi squared over 8, minus 1. It's probably a little bit better. That'd be 3 pi squared over 8, minus 1. That would be the area of the region. And if you really wanted to combine this even further, you can write it as 8 over 8. So it would be... 3 pi squared over 8 minus 8 over 8. So you can write it as 3 pi squared minus 8 over 8. Just show you a couple different ways to write the answer. And I think it's good to become comfortable with all of them so you get better with your math skills. Good luck.